So, you're sitting in class, you're doing assignments, you're doing practicals, you're doing tests. You might have wondered and stopped to think, how is my final grade determined? At the end of year 12, how will I actually get a score for this? Well, hopefully, this video will help you understand that. Sweet! Your grade from a teacher is the te a grade that a teacher sends into the SACE board for the 70% school assessed work. This comes from lots of different assessments. So it could be tests, it could be practicals, it could be folios that you're doing, it could be reports. There's lots of different things that teachers do to get your 70% school assessed grade. That is combined with the SACE board 30% externally assessed work. That's either an exam or an investigation. Now I should say that this only classifies for year 12 and the marks you get right at the end of year 12. If you're doing year 11 subjects, 100% of your grade is from the school assessed component, so your teacher will tell you that. But this one's looking at just how we get your final grade for your ATAR at the end of year 12. So, your final grade after moderation, if you haven't looked at the video on moderation, you should do that, will be from A plus to an E minus for each part of your assessment. So, what happens is you get something that looks a little bit like this. You might have done some investigations, which are worth 40%. You got a B grade, B plus grade, but after moderation it's gone to a B. You might have done some skills and applications tasks at a B plus, and that stayed at moderation as a B plus. So these are the work grades you've got for all your schoolwork. Those are given a value out of 15, okay? So 11 and 12, they're the values that you get after moderation. Now it's 40% for folio, 30% for skills and applications. So overall, you get a value of a B for your school assessment, which has a grade of 11.4. That's the average of your school assessed work. You then sit your exam, or it might be a subject that has an investigation, and let's say you get a B for that as well. You get a numerical value of 11.3 out of that, based on the score that you got in that exam or that investigation. That gives you a final grade overall of B. That's calculated by averaging 70% of your schoolwork by 30% of the external assessment to give you a numerical value of 11.4, and 11.4 sits at a B grade. Now, if you're trying to work out how we get those numbers, if you write out the numbers A plus to E minus on a piece of paper and on the side you write out 1 to 15 on the piece of paper as well, you'll notice there's the exact same numbers of letters as there are numbers. It's amazing, isn't it? That's how we get it. So an A plus is 15, an A is 14, an A minus is 13 and so on all the way down to an E minus which is 1. Hopefully none of you ever see that number. So that's an example of how they get your final grade as a number value. But to use that for ATAR, they do something a little bit different again. For an ATAR, the score for your subject is then converted to a score out of 20. So to do that, all you've got to do is multiply that number you got, 11.4, times it by 20, divide it by 15, and you get a value of 15.2. 15.2 out of 20 would be the score for your subject, and we call that a raw score. Now, I've got here, it's that easy, but you might want to go back and have a look again. The main thing that I want to say to you is, don't waste a lot of time trying to calculate the value for your subject. Just Focus on doing the best you can and the numbers will work out in the end.